Peasant Productions presents the mathematics of ESP, why it works even if you don't believe in it. Okay, um, I invented the International Space Station as part of my plan to try and help save the human race. Save pieces of the human race, maybe. Um, I took all of this into consideration. I used all of this, okay? I sent a single letter that was designed 100% properly to be stolen because they did steal it, they did put it into play, they did make it happen. They did start it off with seven countries. An initial opening statement by President Reagan is there are seven countries on board. So it was never the United States' thing, okay? It was the whole world's thing. Um, like I said, there's 14 other countries directly involved in the International Space Station. There's probably another dozen that are kind of indirectly involved. Um, the United States, of course, is a fascism system, so they are very, very hard at, at getting that, that fake news stuff out there telling you how bad it is in space and how horrible it is and how dangerous it is and all that. And of course, you're walking around with people shooting and killing and running people over and having houses blow up because of old gas lines and infrastructure is failing and the weather is knocking the snot out of you and the earthquakes are happening and the volcanoes are exploding and none of that of course is deadly or dangerous to you at all is it? No. Fukushima happened and the United States government says, oh, don't worry about it. We don't have to care about that. That's way over yonder. That's, that has nothing to do with you. But every part of this planet, scientists have now recorded radiation coming in at deadly levels, at mutation levels from Fukushima. Yeah. So it is totally illogical to claim it isn't what it is. It is extremely stupid to when you see a train coming at you to just turn your around and turn your back to it and pretend, oh, well, I can't see it, so it doesn't exist. It's still going to hit you. You didn't get off the tracks. You didn't get out of the way. You didn't think logically. And for you people that want to run around screaming about how it, it, it's the liberals and it's the leftists and all that kind of stuff, Kindly stop and remember that in 19, I believe it was 82, um, 81 or 82, President Reagan announced that he was removing all truth in advertising laws because they damage corporation profits. So your corporations now could lie about anything they wanted to, they could produce any kind of fake advertising they wanted to, they had the government's blessing to create any kind of fake news station like Fox that they wanted to. They began removing any and all legislation that prevented monopolies. So corporations could literally go out and just buy up whole sectors of, of an industry and, and literally lock it down into an, 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 an entirely singleized idea, ideology. Okay? So your government, GOP, Republican, conservative, right-wing, Christian, Catholic, moral majority nutcases are directly responsible for all fake news. They are directly responsible for 9-11 being allowed to be pushed as a real event when anybody can logically look at it and see that an airplane could not have hit the Pentagon because it didn't leave an airplane type of hole. It left a missile hole and it was a direct hit on the accounting department which the day before proclaimed <coughs> that they had lost 2.3 trillion dollars. Um, take a notice folks of how many times something major is announced and the next day there is a big shooting to take your mind off the fact that they told you about it but oh look over here, over here Okay, uh, go back and look at the bombing of Boston and take note of the fact that there's a guy in a wheelchair with his leg blown off and he's the big iconic, you know, 
poster child of, uh, of the anti-terrorism and all of that. Um, the guy got a leg blown off and he's sitting up and kind of smiling in, a, in, in the wheelchair and the cowboy dude's right next to him and all that. Uh, and then go look at war pictures, accident pictures, places where people have limbs removed. Every single one of them is laying down because the blood loss and the shock from such an event would not allow them to sit up. They would faint. Okay? So that guy was a fake. There's absolutely no way he could have been sitting up and being pushed across, you know, across a hundred yards or more of street uh, without him collapsing. Okay? End of statement. Psychologically, physiology uh, defies what that little piece of scene looks like. And then you go watch how many different places that, that boy with the cowboy hat shows up and you realize the guy's a paid actor. He was paid to show up here, 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 and there. The women keep showing up all over the place, and there's certain features and stuff that always keep showing up. But you people are so busy screening fake news that you're not even looking at the news or the images. You're too busy following an ideology called fascism, where it is more proper to salute a flag, Heil Hitler, Heil Trump, and forget about the idea that Heil Obama. Heil Bush! Yeah. They're all the same thing. They're all 0.1% elite. Rothschild, Goldman Sachs, Rockefeller, J.P. Morgan. Those four banks are behind Obama, Bush, Trump. Interesting, huh? They're also part of the Clinton regime. Interesting, isn't it? You've had the same people in charge and you keep running around screaming that you, you, you're going to change one person and that's going to change, what, maybe 10,000 people across America are part of this government system that, that, that packs you full of lies. So, yeah, you, you made some very illogical ideas. So, my system with the International Space Station moving children in, into power so that instead of being bribed to murder themselves because they're a 90 year old man and they don't really care about the fact that you know that, that they just sold off their, their children and grandchildren's water supply um, they're going to be 18 year olds to 22 year olds that are thoroughly aware that what they do they have to walk out there and live with they will be kicked out of the political system by the standards of the system, so they're not going to be bringing it on. <clears throat> they're not going to be bought in and, and be the same corrupt person for 40, 50 years. Even Bernie Sanders. He was an activist in his early age. He got bought out by the government. He's a government shill. When they need him to stand up and rant, I'm an activist, I'm an activist, I care. Go look at his actual record of what he's done. He has introduced thousands of bills. How much has he actually passed? How much has he actually put forward? How much has he sat on one frickin' idea for 20 or 30 years to get it done? No, every year it's a new thing. Every month it's a new thing. It's, oh, we gotta do this, oh, we gotta do that. Always the conquer and divide, right? You're always looking somewhere else, but you're never looking at the magician, what he's doing behind his, behind his back, okay? So, yeah, you're very illogical, you're very foolish, and Fukushima has happened, so you have an absolute time limit of how many years you got left, which, according to the spiritual realm, the gods, go talk to the gods, folks, don't, don't sit here and argue with me. I can look at the scientific evidence, I see energy, so I see the radioactive energy all over this planet. I know it's deadly. I know the mutations are happening. I know the cold spots in your oceans are boiling from all these millions of, of containers of, of radioactive waste that are burst and leaking. All the waste that are in these mine shafts are burst and leaking into your groundwater. Places like Hanford are dumping it into the atmosphere. Places down in Puerto Rico are dumping it in the atmosphere. Places down in South Pacific are dumping it in the atmosphere. Fukushima is dumping it in the atmosphere. It's dumping it in the ocean. 
You don't have any place that's not contaminated. And none of you are smart enough to stop and think about the fact that radiation causes mutations in cancer. But you're going to give money to that pink ribbon because you're going to cure cancer with your 10 cents. But you could care less about the, the highest cancer producing object in, in, in your created by man world. Nuclear radiation is created by, by man. Uranium may actually exist in, in reality, but it's nowhere near as deadly as that plutonium stuff that they refine it down into. So yeah, you murder yourself with your own weapons, with your own devices, with your own stupidity. So yeah, you don't, you don't want little kids running the government because they're going to realize how stupid you are. And then stop and consider that once I'm up there in space and I'm using my asteroid mining thing, I've got a whole economic system. We got fuel, we got food, we got material for building, we got energy for doing stuff and building stuff and creating stuff and manufacturing stuff. We're totally independent of what's happening down here this, this, over the next 10 years, actually 8 years now because that was 2015 when I was given a 10 year time limit. Um, think about that, you know. Totally independent. You people are going to go all nuts and start having all kinds of riots because you're losing all your food, you're losing all your water, and your air's totally polluted. What are you going to do? Are you going to sit there and eat dollar bills, folks?